My life started over 33 years ago. It actually started on a very rough note as I was born a sickly boy. I suffered rheumatism for the first 17 years of my life and in those years, I spent more time on my sick bed than I spent doing almost any other thing. I couldn't attend school regularly and I couldn't play like other kids. Needless to say, I had wasted almost all my childhood fighting rheumatism. So, you will expect that with such a big setback, it will reflect in my future, right? Well, probably the opposite. While at 33, I have not been the national figure in my country, the speed at which I climbed the ladder of life is so fast that I could have been 50 with what I have done with my life. So, how did this happen? How can you achieve success faster than most people? That's what I'll try and share with you in today's video. If you're new here, consider subscribing so that you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Get serious early Though I battled sickness for the first 17 years of my life, when I was 18 years old, I was probably the craziest 18-year-old boy in the world. From age 18 till 30, I doubt if anyone else lived the way I lived. All my 20s, my watchword seemed to be, waste no single minute. If you want to be successful faster than most people, you have to wake up early. By this, I don't mean you should be waking up early in the morning, like 5 a.m. or something like that. Instead, I mean that you should get serious about your life earlier than most people. Pay attention to this. The number one reason why it takes forever for most people to achieve reasonable success in their life is because almost everyone wastes their 20s in frivolities. This is pathetic for two reasons. First, your 20s is probably the most energetic period of your life. Second, the older you get, the weaker your spirit becomes. I think I need to explain this. You see, when we are young, a part of us is stupid. Because we are stupid, if we desire to do silly things, then stupidity plus silliness will only make our lives miserable. But if we desire to get serious and achieve something great, though we're still stupid, we'll use our stupidity to try things that are really out of sense. We'll make mistakes and these mistakes will make us smarter and by becoming smarter, we'll start having the capacity to achieve more successes. Now, when you're in your 30s or 40s, you can start becoming conscious about the implications of your actions. And because of this wisdom, you start avoiding anything that can be risky. And that's where the problem lies. If you're young as you watch this video, I challenge you to get serious right now. Get serious. Set big goals and pursue them. When you make mistakes, don't interpret it to mean that you're stupid. Though you may be stupid, you're learning and in a matter of time, you'll become smarter than anyone of your age. Build your life around your business. Sometime in the year 2017, I asked myself this question. How many times do you log into the Facebook every day? The answer was about 7 times on the average. And each time, I might spend like 15 minutes or more. I asked myself, if I spend so much time on social media, what do I get in return? You know the answer. Nothing. Almost nothing, I told myself. I'd rather use Facebook to make money or don't use it at all. By November 2017, I deleted my personal profile on Facebook. Instead, I started using Facebook for my business needs. In the year 2018, I made between $10,000 to $30,000 profit on Facebook. Today, I make more money on social media than most people can even believe possible. Now, I'm not advocating that you should go and delete your personal profile on social media. I'm only challenging you to become more aware of what you're building your life around. Let me give you a bad news. Most people in the world build their lives around other people's businesses. They wake up in the morning using toothpaste they didn't make and sleep at night on a bed from a company they didn't have shares and sleep at night on a bed from a company they don't have shares in. And between when they wake up and when they sleep every minute of their day, and every dollar from their purse is spent on other people's businesses. If you want to be successful faster, I don't mean you stop patronizing other people's business. I don't even mean that you must be an entrepreneur or have a business in the first place. I simply mean that you have to build your life around your business. If, for example, you're a medical doctor, then your life should be devoted to medical science. If you're a lawyer, then you must strive to be the best in your country. And this requires crazy devotion. I mean, your devotion shouldn't be to Facebook, soccer games or your TV set. Your devotion shouldn't be to anything except such things that move you in the direction of your biggest dreams. So, how do you do this? 
Let me explain in the next section. Cut off almost everything from your life. About two months ago, someone told me that I am the only adult he knows who doesn't have a TV set. I smiled and wondered why everyone owns a TV in the first place. Think about this. Because we don't own a TV, the best toy of our kid are books. And because there are no gigantic screens in our living room, when I am with my kid, I am with her 100%. Now, that was just an example. And I don't mean to say that TVs are evil boxes. I simply mean that you should cut off many distracting things from your life. For example, who in the world needs three social media accounts? Why should anyone use Facebook, Instagram, TikTok and Twitter in a single life except you use these platforms to make money in some ways? My message here is simple. Cut off any distractions as possible. Use a single social media if you can. Don't subscribe to those interesting cable networks. Cut off most things. But why is this important? You see, human nature will always go for the most interesting things available. So for instance, if I use Facebook, I'm likely to have checked my profile this morning because that will be more interesting than this boring script I'm writing. If I own a TV, I'm likely to spend a couple of hours every day on some useless reality shows because as useless as they may be, they will as well be interesting and fun. But when you cut off those interesting stuff, you simply force yourself to do what matters and this helps you to succeed faster than most people. Build a career around what you like. You've heard this said a million times, but let me explain the reason why it's so important. You see, entertainment is the substitute for the joy and pleasure we lack in our life. Maybe the above statement is too harsh, but it's the truth. Show me two people, one crazily loves his job and the other hates Mondays. I have no doubt who among these people will consume more entertainment. The guy who loves his job simply doesn't need that much entertainment because he's entertained by his business. But the man who hates his job needs entertainment. 11 hours every day because entertainment is the only thing that makes him relax. So, what happens when you like what you're doing for a living is that you get lost in it. You work harder than everyone and you don't even feel like you're working. You read everything available about your job or business because you have great fun knowing more about it. You work every day even if you know it's not good because you have a job or business that's like a hobby. You'll invest every single breath into it and the result will be that you'll become successful faster than everyone else. Get serious about your life very early. Build your life around your business, not other people's businesses. Cut off most distractions so that you can have time to focus on what matters. Build a career around what you're passionate about so you can invest all your blood into what you're doing and this will lead you into success faster than most people. Thank you for watching our videos.